Welcome to Zoho Forms, your mobile-friendly data collection tool. In this video, we will walk you through the product and explore its features. Once you sign in, you are taken to the Forms dashboard. A form can be created from scratch or from predefined templates. In this video, we'll create a form from scratch to start off. In the Form Builder, you'll find a wide range of fields on the left pane ranging from name, email, choice-based fields, file upload, payment, rating scales, and many more. You can either click on a field or drag and drop the fields into the builder and the field properties will be shown on the right pane. Here, you can set field labels, instructions, and more validatory conditions to a field. After adding fields, you can get your forms to trigger actions and hide irrelevant fields with rules. Under Field Rules, you can show or hide fields based on specific response to a particular question. Under Form Rules, you can automate email alerts and redirections after every form submission based on the conditions you define. Under Settings, you can change your time zone and add a CAPTCHA to your form. You can also redirect your respondents to a redirection page with a text message or a web page after a form submission. Automatic email alerts with user submitted data can also be enabled after every form submission. A form's span can be restricted by date or number of entries after which the form will be disabled and the respondents cannot make further submissions. And you can also allow users to edit responses under response settings. A form submission can also be converted into a document. Respondents can download their form submission as a PDF from the redirection page or from the automated email they receive. You can make your form visually pleasing with themes. You can either pick a theme from our gallery or you can also create your own. You'll be able to change the background images, uh, fonts, transparency, and alignment of your form. Here's a sample form with a custom theme. And hey, we forgot to mention, Zoho Forms is also mobile responsive. Once your form is built, it can be shared using these options. You can use a link to share your form publicly or share a private link with individual users. Or you can also share it throughout your organization. Your form can also be distributed for email campaigns with MailChimp or Zoho campaigns. You can also embed your form in your web page by pasting the code we provide. You can have your form appear as a link, a button, a pop-up, or even as a QR code to make the form easily accessible through mobile devices. We've integrated Zoho Forms with other Zoho services to help you simplify your work. For instance, you can directly add leads to your Zoho CRM, raise support tickets in Zoho Support, or add contacts to your campaign's account from form submissions. Now that a form is built and shared, let's see what we can do with the form submissions. To see all the submissions, you should click All Entries. You can generate customized reports using the filters here, or share the report with your users or export the data as a CSV file. Let's go to the dashboard now. Here's where you will find all of your forms. You can manage and share your forms using the options. You'll find shortcuts to all entries, reports, and settings of a particular form here. To view analytics data like page views, entries, error score, and conversion rate, you should click analytics. To access all the reports you've created and the ones that are shared with you, you should click reports tab. Users are the people within your organization who can create and share forms. Under Users tab, you can add users and assign roles and also find your plan details. We hope this video was helpful for you to get familiar with Zoho Forms. If you need any further assistance, you can write to us at support at zohoforms.com.